Archbishop from Brotherhood of the Crossing Star, Archbishop Emmanuel Ekong, and in the middle it's our Archbishop Joseph Dickey. We have been talking about Brotherhood, we define it, and then we, we did talk about cross, we define it, and today is the day of the star. <laughs> today we're going to ask our Archbishop Emmanuel Ekong, can you define for us what is star? In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. now and forevermore. Amen. Uh, thank you for having us here. The star is the hidden name. It is the wisdom of our Lord Jesus the Christ. You have been reading in the Bible about a new name, mm -hmm. which is unknown unto anyone except he that receives it. A new name that is known only unto God. The star is the ruler of brotherhood of the cross and star. If you look and listen to it, it is a full sentence. Brotherhood, the sum total of all of God's creation, God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, all the angels, and the entirety of creation is brotherhood. Brotherhood of the cross. All of God's creation that have a share in the cross of Calvary that are willing to carry the cross, that successfully carry their cross, and all of them that successfully do so, to them belong the star. The star is the governor. The star is the ruler. It is the wisdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ indeed knew that there will be many sons and daughters of men who will make entrance trying to be the Messiah trying to be the pastors, trying to be the one that, that would deliver, the Savior. So he bypasses all and sundry by coming with a new name, a new name that is not known to the entirety of the whole world. Can we take a reference Absolutely. from the book of Revelations, chapter 19, verse 12? It says that he has a name that no one knows but he himself. Mm -hmm. He has a name written on his thigh that he is the king of kings, that he is the lord of lords, that is the star. The star is the ruler of brotherhood of the cross and star, and it is the new name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can we see a reference? Revelation chapter 19, verse 12. said, his eyes were as a flame of fire, mm -hmm. and on his head were many crowns, mm -hmm. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Did you hear that? That is the wisdom of Christ. A new name that no man knows but he himself. Everyone knows about Jesus. But how about the new name of Jesus the Christ? You ask a good question on the other episode. The Bible says, There is no other name given under heaven by which a man shall be saved except the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus himself says, I have a new name. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He says, I have a new name. John saw the new name, but John could not read. John knew the name Jesus. He was his disciple. But he saw a new name written on his thigh and on his garment, a name that no one knows but he himself. Let us hear. Revelation chapter 3, verse 12. Revelation chapter 3, verse 12. Yes. It says, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, mm -hmm. and he shall go no more out. Mm -hmm. And I will write upon him the name of my God, yes. and the name of the city of my God, mm -hmm. which is New Jerusalem, 
which cometh down out of heaven from my God, mm -hmm. and I will write upon him my new name. Hallelujah. What name is greater than the name of Jesus the Christ? Papa says all of you are Christ, meaning you are kings. But Jesus Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. So this star is the new name of our Lord Jesus the Christ. In the name of our Lord, Jesus, Lumba, Lumba. Amen. Thank you. And Father. you know, if I may add, yes. yes. If you recollect when our Lord Jesus Christ was born, when the three wise men came from the east yes. mm -hmm. to see him, mm -hmm. they made a peculiar statement. That's to let us know that even before the second advent, they had already established it from the beginning. Yes. In the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter number 2, verse 2. Yes. And it says, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. You understand it now? Yes. So already the glory is established. Mm -hmm. He is the death star from on high. Yes. He is the light and he is the glory of God. Even before man knew his redemption plan, he has already laid down the foundation for the glory to be made manifest. Yes. So that's why he came. And you know, everybody believes that in the East is where wisdom resides. Mm -hmm. So he went to the East to make them understand that he that is born in the manger is the glory of God. Amen. That child that was born among animals, he went back to Eden to be recreated mm -hmm. because he was living with the animals in Eden as Adam. Now he went back there to be recreated and he came with the glory, the star of, of God. Yes. So when you talk about the star, that star is the name of God and yes. Christ. Yes. That star is the symbol, even the human glory. Can you imagine? In the armed forces, yes. you serve from Lance Corporal or whatever to Brigadier. Yes. They call you one star general. Yes. You have excelled in the army. Yes. You get to Major General, they put two stars. You get to lieutenant general, they put three stars. You come to full five star general, four star, five star. That those stars dictate and establish you as somebody of high repute. So if man can know the value of the star and adopt it into their corporate entity yes. issues, but the living God is that star, and the Holy Father told us that the star is the Christ. Yes. The star is the glory. And when man, you know, when we were discussing the other day what is brotherhood of the cross and stuff, Papa said, if you have gone to brotherhood, yes. brotherhood means God and everything that he has created. Yes. So in brotherhood, all is all are invited. Exactly. The good, the bad, the ugly. Yes. That's where the parable of the fisherman comes in. Yes. He cast the net into the deep sea. Mm -hmm. As he was moving or dragging everything, lobs, mm -hmm. periwinkles, lobsters, yes. oysters, dead bodies, yes. dead animals, weeds and everything as he brings them into the boat mm -hmm. the separation starts yes the choice fish are put in special compartment mm -hmm. they will pick until they come the one they leave for the fishmongers all yes. the women that come to buy all the bits and pieces mm -hmm. you know and when they picked up the bits and pieces the man takes the choice fish and keeps for himself yes so those who are into brotherhood are the fishes in the sea the periwinkle the lobster the stones the wood the dead bodies mm -hmm. then in the selection that is where the cross comes in Trials must come. Yes. Situations must arise that will make you ask yourself, am I qualified for this? Yes. Right now, they just finished. They are doing the Olympics in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Before the people that went for the Olympics, they have gone through so many trials in their nations yes, to qualify for their countries to send them as representatives yes. to Tokyo, right? Now, getting to Tokyo, before the finals, they have several hits. Many who came from their country as the best would drop along the line. Finally, they have the last 11. And among that last 11, only three will be recognized. Mm -hmm. The one that has the bronze, the one that has the silver, yes. and the one that has the gold. gold. Yes. So, mm -hmm. And Apostle Paul said that if we can put in so much effort mm -hmm. for such many pittances as human re uh, 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 recognition and acclaim, mm -hmm. what about that glory of the Christ? So that is the cross. Yes. And now when you have run a good race, yes. And then you're qualified. Then the Christ now bestows upon you himself. Yes. That is what his grace Ekon quoted earlier in Revelation chapter 3 verse 12. Yes. I will write upon him yes. my new name. Amen. 
Amen. I've given a white stone in 217 yes. where there's a name written which no man knows yes. except he that receives it. That's because correct. You have passed through the crucible. Yes. You have been purified by the fire of faith. Yes. You have been purified by the temptations of earth life. Yes. And now you are qualified to dine with Christ. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We'll take uh, Revelation 22, verse 16. It shows support as to who is the star. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the star. And he showed to John, as he said, I am the root of Jesse and the bright and the morning star. Revelation 22, verse 16. Revelation 22, verse 16, it says, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you yes. these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David yes. and the bright and morning star. That is Christ speaking about himself. That he is the bright and the morning star. Brotherhood of the cross and star. If you are in spirit, you will be able to see the Godhead, the Son, even so, the Holy Spirit, the star himself. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Wow. This is beautiful. The star. Brotherhood yes. of, the, of cross the cross and star. star. This question go to Brother E.E. E. again. Yes. What does the star signify in the life of believer? It is the excellence of Christhood. The star itself. It's the brilliance of the love, of the joy, of the beauty of the holiness, the sum total of righteousness, all the virtues that God has preached, ask us to do from Genesis through the book of Revelation, manifest in this star. Our light, Christ said, our light is to shine before all men so that men will see the good works of God in us and glorify the Father. It is the star that is the light. It is a star that shines in us. And mm. that's what we've been asked to go and tell the world. I, Jesus, have sent my own children to all the churches to inform the churches about who the star is. The star is the leader of the universe. The one to reign, the one to rule, the one to whom the heavens and the earth belong is the star. And that is the meaning of the star for us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. There was a question the disciples asked our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because he told them, take up your cross and follow me. If you, don't, if you cannot pick your cross, you're not worthy for the kingdom. Yes. And so many of the questions. Then Peter asked him one day, he said, come, Master, behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. Yes. What shall be our reward? Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Because everybody walking has something he has to look up to, isn't it? That's why people clock in eight hours, some are clocking another twelve hours because there's something to compensate for the denial. Yes, it's true. And he told them, say, Verily I say unto you that you which have followed me, that is contained in the book of Matthew chapter 19, mm -hmm. from verses 27 through 29. Mm -hmm. You know? Say, Verily I say unto you, which you have you which have followed me in the regeneration. Yes. You see the emphasis. Mm -hmm. In the regeneration. So he was not talking about his own time. He's talking about another time that is to come. Yes. Mm. He said, in the regeneration, eh, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Yes. Mm -hmm. And everyone that has forsaken father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Amen. So the journey you go through the cross, Christ himself was the first star, yes. because he was the first cross bearer. That's correct. Mm. And he was the first recipient of that star. Yes. Mm. Because he was able to carry the cross, he received his reward. Mm -hmm. And he knew that anybody who has followed him, when he will be revealed as a star of glory, yes. as a king of the kingdom, yes. they too, which followed him to suffer the, the way of the cross, will also they receive their reward. Yes. 
and you're receiving that your reward now, you know, like in the armed forces. And let me see go back there. When a, a general is moving, you know, he doesn't hold arms, does he? No. No. It's other ranks that carry all the machine guns. That's true. Mm -hmm. He only carry a pistol, a revolver. But all those other men carrying all the arms are there to guide one man. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> He's a human, but then in that level now, he has ascended to a greater height. Yes. Yeah. Because he has overcome challenges. And for the government and the institution of government, that one general is more important than many other ranks officers. Yes. He can command a battalion. Yes. He can command a platoon. Yes. If he's a rear admiral, he can command the whole warships yes. on the high sea because he has achieved. Yes. So Christ himself was the first supreme general. He commanded the fleet of God, mm -hmm. and he conquered Satan and subdued him. Having conquered him and subdued him, he said in Matthew 28, verse 18, he said, all power has been given unto me in yes. heaven and on earth. Yes. So every power and every authority belong to him. Yes. He is the supreme star. So yes. all those now who have passed through the journey he passed through are now qualified to dwell with him in the house of glory, yes. which we call the brotherhood of the cross and star. Yes. The faithful children who walk the path with Christ yes. and now have passed through the crucible with him and they have now come to the point of glory. Like Christ said, told the Father, give me the glory that I had with thee mm -hmm. before the world was. So those who will equally walk faithfully with him too are entitled to that own glory, Amen. to the recognition, and to the reward. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Is this stuff restricted to brotherhood of the cross and star alone? <laughs> if yes or no, it who is. then is qualified to attend the star? It is. For all of God's children all over the whole world, wherever they are, Christ said, I have other sheep that are not yet of this fold. Them I will bring, that there shall be one flock under one shepherd. So all that are under the flock of Christ, they all are all in the star. The star belongs to all of God's children. It is a crown that he himself wears and gives to each and every one of his children. But brotherhood of the cross and star must be noted. Being the new kingdom of God mm -hmm. that God himself has brought upon the earth, now in calling his children, it is God who gives us our crown. He mm -hmm. gives the star. He himself is the star. The star denotes that new name which he promises he will bring. The new name in which salvation is found. Can we hear a reference? Revelation chapter 2, verses 27 to 28. Revelation 2, yes. 27 to mm -hmm. 28. Yeah, Revelation chapter 2. 27 to 28. So we hear. Yes. It said. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Yes. The Christ. Or should I go to 20, 26 now? Go ahead. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works mm -hmm. unto the end, yes. to him will I give power over the nations. Yes. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Mm -hmm. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Yes. Even as I also receive of my father. Mm -hmm. And I will give him morning star. Yes. And I will give him the morning star. This is the promise of Christ to his own faithful, who are the recipients of the star, all the faithful children of God, all over the whole world. And he has them in his palm. But notice what it says in verse 29, that he that has and hear, let him hear. God knew that man in his heart does not have faith in him. If you notice when Christ was about to come 2,000 years ago, as soon as King Herod received the message from the three wise men, where is he that is born, king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east. As soon as Herod heard that the owner of the star is coming into the world, Herod's heart was filled with envy, with jealousy, with anger looking for how to destroy him, if it were possible. And when he did his calculations, 
trying to determine how to find the Christ. He knew that the Christ had been on the earth since about two years before. Herod the king passed the law that all two-year-old children in Israel should be killed in his own attempt to destroy the possessor and owner of the star. But no matter how man fights with God, God always will emerge the winner in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So God, knowing the heart of a man, he decides to come into the world with a new name by passing all the false prophets, all the deceivers, all the liars. It's like handing over the old name to the false prophets. As for the new name, which is the star, only his own faithful will have access to it. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. And if you look at it, when he said, he that overcometh. Yes. Mm -hmm. That means there's an examination. Yes. It's conditional. It's conditional. He doesn't say that the kingdom is gratis. Mm -hmm. You don't just wake up and walk into it. Yes. What do you overcome? That's a big challenge. Yes. The scripture said, eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard, yes. neither has it come to the imagination of man what God has for those who love him. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look into the world, what is it that eyes have not seen? Is it hard? Eh? Is it avionics? <laughs> is it all these toys that give life pleasure? Electronics, name it. Every day new things are coming up. So what is it that eyes have not seen? What is it that you have to give up? Because the way of the cross is so strict and so rigid. You know? Man looked at what is the pleasure of man? Eat, drink, frolic. Have you? <laughs> Once you get into Friday, oh, thank God it's Friday. As they are moving, some even carry their party cloth in the car. Their brain is, is already spinning to the music, isn't it? They are looking for the best wine, the best cigar, the best everything, the choice food. Uh, boys who are walking straight, they are looking at the things in skirt, the one that is so beautifully arranged <laughs> to, attend, you know, to attend to their need. Then so many other things to see that give joy in the temporal sense, mm -hmm. you give them up. There are so many challenges. You say it doesn't mean you're weak. If you turn the other cheek, if they collect your outer coat, give the inner one. If they compel you to walk a mile, walk ten. You know, you become, how would I call it, to the eyes of man, a complete fool. Because to follow Christ, you're supposed to become so foolish that you wouldn't be foolish in your own eyes. Because he said, he followed like a lamb to the slaughter, he never complained. Even though when they put him to the, to the line to cut his head, he laid it down peacefully. When the judge, today all over America, everywhere you see billboards, injury attorney, what did they do? Somebody bashed into your car? Yeah. You have to sue him. You can even <laughs> claim that... Um, you don't have any problem again in life, right? Because the person has given you an injury that for life you're taken care of. Yes. But Christ said, even at that, you come back and look at your vehicle and tell the man, I'm sorry, you can go. Forgive me, but you're the one that is offended. Mm -hmm. When you endure all these things, yes. from beginning to the end, then you're qualified for the crown of glory because right. you've gone the cross with patience and penitence, and yes. today the crown of life is yours. Amen. And that is the star of glory. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This question goes to either one of you. Yes. Has any man attained this status since the creation began? Mm -hmm. Only one man. Oh. <laughs> that is our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, oh. That is so. All of us are still trying. I'll give you one question somebody asked. He said, you people say brotherhood of the cross and Christ is the kingdom of God. Yes. Does it mean that everybody is perfect? Well, everybody was chopped. Then one professor stood up. He said, well, brotherhood as an institution is perfect. Yes. The Christ, the leader of brotherhood, is perfect. Yes. But we, the members, we are trying to be. Yes. So help us God. <laughs> In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Well, that was very mm. beautiful. Yeah. Um, I want us to talk about the coincidence or the relationship between the star that we're talking about today and the star that the wise men have seen before our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. I think he was already born, right? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So I want us to talk about that because you mentioned something about a name yes. that was, I'll call it camouflage, because mm -hmm. <laughs> according to the Bible, yeah. the leader did not want it to be revealed yes. because of what has happened with uh, the King Eli. That so we'll great. come back and talk about that. Sure. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Michelle. I'm sorry.